God bless you guys. This is Sean here from Fate Springs Change. I just want to come on here and talk to you for a second. I noticed that somebody had watched my earliest video or whatever. Um, I privatized, I'll be honest, I privatized it because when I first made the video, I was so nervous when I came on here. I privatized it because, and I was, you know, stuttering in some parts and different things. There was this guy, uh, Brother Mario, and he, uh, well, he... He wasn't in the Lord. He did some horrible thing. I'm not even going to mention what he did. But uh, he the, the fact was the guy was sorry and he was crying and he was remorseful. And maybe he wasn't all the way where he needed to be. But he was weeping and crying and he had been horribly humiliated for having his sin exposed. And it was perhaps something the Lord did to save his life. But I just didn't like how the church came about it. They They dogged him. They're more interested in doing exposure videos for people and they don't care about the actual human being. If, if that makes any sense, we're supposed to be the good Samaritan guys. When somebody falls, we should motivate them to get back up and turn to the Lord. But we hold people to such high standard to the point of if they if they make a mistake, if they do something, they're out. They're, they're just, they just can never come back. There was this... Uh, actress Allison Mack in the Hollywood industry and she got and she she played Chloe Sullivan in Smallville you know Superman series but uh she got she followed the wrong person you know and uh she did some horrible things and helped these women you know do some stuff and these women were sleeping with you know this guy this guy was having them and she was motivating them telling them to obey him but she was kind of brainwashed and and, and she was lost and she, and she needed help but the the crew the people to say to make themselves look good it feels good for everybody to get get against somebody and just dog them instead of praying for them but of course you can't expect Hollywood to do that and so they threw her out and she didn't no longer can work and have a career but you know we do the same thing in the Christian church we throw somebody out once they do something wrong and we we forget that there are stories where men, even men of God fell even David uh, you know people fell and, and Samson and different things and we don't have the heart of God we are so far so far from the love of God so far from his heart guys we're more interested in exposing people than we are seeing those same people repent and get saved guys this is the problem that there is no love there's there's not the love it's supposed to be there in the Christian church in the heart of the people. And there, that is something that is very wrong, guys. We have to repent. And I was afraid and I was terrified when I came on here. But I didn't want that guy to go and kill himself. But, you know, I didn't start this channel for me or for my glory. I did it to defend a person when I didn't even want. I was, I was so nervous, but I didn't want that person to do anything to himself. But... We are supposed to be the good Samaritan guys when somebody falls among thieves and, and, and robbers. But we want to throw them out to the dogs. And uh, I had to uh, I had to delete the subscription of a channel from Christian Journal because he he posted when a person was a, he said just another sodomite, whatever, a child molester or something. He posted that on there. Just another sodomite. And I basically said, how dare you? How dare you? Jesus created that person. You're saying just another sodomite? The one that Jesus died, went to the cross for, to die for? I, I thought I thought we were talking about how Jesus died for people and how we're supposed to pray for them and how he could save anyone. And there was this guy in heaven that died and he was dead for an hour and 45 minutes, Dean Braxton, you know. And, uh, and he asked Jesus, or he said, wow, Lord, you really do love all people, even child molesters, you know. And uh, the Lord said, when you throw a person in hell, they're there for a little space in time, or in jail, they're there for a space in time. But when we throw a person into hell, they're there forever. And he said, who are you to nullify what I've done? And that's what we're doing, guys. We're saying that uh, Jesus, you know, some people that have done these horrible things like child molesting or something, they can't be forgiven. They can't repent. And we're more interested in seeing those people get uh, 
get slammed and and remember remember when the disciples said when when they rejected jesus message they said you know should we pray fire come down from heaven like elias did you know and he said you do not know what spirit you're of for the son of man didn't come to destroy men's lives but to save them guys and we are more interested in getting subscribers and getting people to like us and looking cool and people are more interested in how people look than actual truth nowadays, guys. And this is a real problem. And if somebody, you know, they're more concerned about, you know, if you smile great or whatever, you know. And it's not about that. I'm, I'm not c comfortable on a year doing these videos, but, but I do it to help people. And maybe I'll get more comfortable later on, but I've, I've just been in some trials lately that I've just been, I've been really plowed into more more stuff with the wicked guys and i suppose i have things to have to overcome in my heart and i still have to wrestle and forgive and continue to forgive but but i try to be a good example guys a shining light we're supposed to be the good samaritan when somebody falls we're not supposed to kick them when we're they're down we're supposed to help them get up guys and a lot of these people that are demanding that death you know death 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 to a person like a transgender they said he stabbed a child four times i get that that's horrible horrible to do but the problem is they have no love in their heart to even pray that that person will repent and not go to hell and i don't think they really believe in hell if they want to bring the hammer down on somebody and not want them to even have a chance to repent i'm talking about they want them to go to hell because if they want that, that means they've never seen hell before. Because every person I've heard who saw hell, they said, I wouldn't wish my worst enemy there. And if you are like that and you, and you want all this stuff, you don't, you've never witnessed hell. And I, I, I doubt you know the Lord with that kind of heart. Because everybody wants to come on and make exposure videos about people. Expose, expose, expose. And there's no love for the person. You don't even want to see the Lord's version of that person. You don't want that person to repent. You're not calling that person to turn to the Lord. You're just constantly chopping them up. He does this wrong. He does that wrong. I mean, you, you, it's, it's like we don't have a heart, guys. We've lost, there's something, and I keep pointing, you don't see me that I'm pointing my heart, but there's something missing here. In, in the heart of the people it's it's ice cold guys and <coughs> in my when i was younger it would kill me especially and i still marvel over the coldness of the people's hearts the coldness you know and people are so into sports and they have these athletes and they'll trash them and say this person's just a dog they're a piece of trash and there are christians that do, doing this supposedly they think they're christians and their names are not in the book of life and they're not going to meet the Lord. And uh, Christian Journal, I could, you know, I'm not doing like a big exposure video, but you need to repent. And guys, stay away from those channels. Guys, if you got subscriptions and they're just exposing all these people and doing all this stuff, delete that stuff. Because those people are headed for that outer darkness of, of Revelation chapter 9. And they're going to go into that for three days if they do not repent. Because the Lord is going to do such a sweeping judgment that many of those people that are doing those exposure videos for people who are molesting behind the scenes and closed doors, they're, they're masturbating and doing all these sexual sins. And they think God is going to overlook that and they're somehow better than those people who are doing those homosexual sins, which they need to repent of also. But... They're not even walking right with the Lord. They don't even have their doctrine straight. They think we can sin, and at the same time we sin, we have salvation. That Like, they think legitimately your pants can be pulled down masturbating, and at the same time you have salvation. And these are the people demanding uh, to stone the person who commits adultery proverbially. I mean, they're, they're, uh, they're saying all these bad things about these people, and they're finding molesting. Meanwhile, they're telling you, you can have your pants pulled down in masturbation and other sins and at the same time be right with God. Their hearts are so far from God. And they're bringing the gavel down on themselves when they do this, guys. And so, I may not feel so comfortable doing this stuff, but 
I marvel at the lack of judgment in the church. And uh, and I did bring up his light in the dark. I brought up his light in the dark in seven, not out of condemnation, but in love. Because I was like, this isn't a WWF match. Because he had a dream of a person. He was saying that scumbag and he threw him down and he, he dreamed the person came into his parents house and they were like had a ratty beard and looked poor and you know and 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 uh he just grabbed him the guy was in a wheelchair just grabbed him and, and threw him out and started punching him started punching him in the face and, and and said that's what i'm gonna do with you you punk you punk he yelled that loud guys you scumbag he yelled that loud and i said this isn't a wwf match and i prayed for the lord to give him a dream and he dreamt of these two father and son WWF kind of wrestling guys that he looks at fighting and arguing, doing all this stuff, saying they were Christians. But at the same time, they were yelling, doing the behavior he did. And he said, I'm sorry, but you're not a Christian. And they got mad. And he said, yeah, yeah. And if you're doing this, you're not a Christian. And I'm thinking, you're the person that the Lord gave the dream that was talking about. You're the person who did it. And if you're a person in heaven you're not you're the lord's forgiven you so don't put yourself in that place some of these things may sound like it bring, may bring you back to memories but you're you're in the lord right now so rejoice you know be free of that i'm the last person who's gonna judge anybody who's up there and I, guys that you may think it's weird but i i i saw king david i saw uh elijah before i had a you know visitation with the lord and stuff and show me some stuff so I'm, I'm i'm conscious of that and i'm always careful to make people feel comfortable like that they don't have to worry about um uh, living up to any expectations for me i because i've i've done the worst of the worst you know some horrible things but i'm also walking in the lord and also have fruit now but but yeah uh it's not a WWF match, guys, and we can't be tearing people up with our mouths. We have to repent. We have to be holy because the Lord is watching. And when I'm praying for him to give these people these dreams, he's he gives them to them. Man, he, he does, but but they still haven't figured that out yet. And for me, um, this I had a boss that was being really just arnery, you know, not in the Lord and claiming to be christian chopping people up so i what i gotta do is i gotta do some heart work when i get off here and i work some uh, love out of my heart so i'm not overly angry because i'm not showing him my anger but it's you know it's about the heart also so i gotta but but i figured i'd just get on here because i saw that video of that first video i made about that brother mario but guys yes if you see somebody getting uh attacked or bullied defend them guys even if it makes you feel like you're you feel stupid for doing it or you're embarrassed go ahead and do it for other people guys we're not here for ourselves to be comfortable we're here for others guys and until the lord perfects me and he will for that day and I, it'll be awesome when i'm doing that reading then i'm going to uh i'm just gonna move when he calls me and i felt moved to do this video so I love you guys. I am praying for you. Maybe it's not the greatest video in the world, but if you have somebody you can defend, instead of worrying about, instead of us worrying about what God can do for us, let's let's see what we can do for Him. If somebody needs help, guys out there, go ahead and defend them. And be if those people are 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 attacking somebody else for, uh, let's say, uh, sodomite this, sodomite that, and they don't even have love for the person, go ahead and remind them of their sin because the Lord, oftentimes, he can move upon the spirit of prophecy. And you can, uh, if you're in the Lord, you can hear him and he'll tell you, look, this person is in pornography or they're in this or they're in that. And you can move in the spirit by faith. And you can know, and you know how I know? Because I know that when you have certain things that you're you're doing, you have to be careful because the Lord will deliver you back to those sins. And I know that you have to be in certain works for God to protect you from those sins. And I know that there's not a lot of humility and I know the doctrine of the modern day church that they say we can sin. And at the same time while we sin, we have salvation. And these same people are the same ones calling the gavel down for somebody else. And, and child molester, I'm sorry, they have a huge speck in their eye and they need to take out of hypocrisy. They don't even got the doctrine right. They think we can sin and at the same time have salvation in sin. And that is insanity, guys. And I love you guys. 
and I am praying for you. And uh, walk in the Lord. Memorize memorize the Psalms of David or memorize the book of John or any book you want. But but get yourself out of that pit of sin, guys, because Satan is trying to constantly drag us back there. But I love you guys. I am praying for you. Until next time, uh, shalom.